I'm Caleb Brooks with the AHSAA Radio Network. I'm at Marbury High School joined by our River Region Athlete of the Week, Dantavius Bristow. And Dantavius, uh, you know, you're sitting here and, and uh, you're playing this week. And, and, you know, it's not something that Marbury's been doing a lot of is playing at this time of the year, but your group has been able to do that. Uh, you have one of the best turnarounds in the state. You go from winless to uh, six and four on the year and uh, have put yourselves in position to go on the road and go play uh, against Briarwood this week and give yourselves a chance to advance to the second round. How special uh, is this and this season really been for you guys? It's been real special. I mean, we've been putting in a lot of hard work. You know, over the summer, we worked out almost every day, tired, tired. We usually didn't do that last year, you know. I think that you guys really turned a lot of heads uh, game one this year. You go up to Montevallo and just dominate uh, against them. What was it uh, in that game that really allowed y'all to play so well? And, and, and how, how much was that win, you know, how important was that for this group to kind of see, you know, okay, all this hard work is really paying off for us now? I mean, when the game got canceled Friday, pretty sure everybody was mad, you know. We had to wake up early and play. I don't think Montevallo was ready. We just came and dominated. What has been different uh, about this team this year compared to the past years where you haven't had as much success? I mean, I think everybody this year just gave in and everybody seen we, we can do something special and everybody worked harder. You know, uh, with Coach Wallace coming in, obviously, you know, he's a new face to you guys, you are new faces to him. Um, how do you feel like y'all really been able to adjust to him as a coach and, and, you know, what has been some of the things that maybe you know, him and his staff has done different with you guys that's helped y'all play as well. Yeah, he tell us all the time, we're going to do it right, we're going to do it again. And so only one thing we can do is do it right, so we're going to do it again. And then how much have you really seen that really carry over now to Friday nights and you guys, you know, having the 6-4 and four record that you have now? I've seen it a lot. You know, we, work hard. we work over the same thing every day at practice over and over until we do it right, you know. You won Athlete of the Week because you had 19 carries, 220 yards, and, and you know, a bunch of touchdowns in the game. And, and uh, you guys played really well Friday night. Obviously, you're hoping to carry that momentum over to, you know, now to this Friday night. But what helped you run the ball so well and gave you the opportunity to gain as many yards as you did? I'm going to put it all on my old line. You know, they opened up holes for me, and I hit it. And outside runs on my wide receivers, perimeter blocking. Work on that a lot. What were you seeing back there that that you know was able helping you hit holes a little bit easier? You feel like and and you know you know allowing you to I guess see the field a little bit better Friday. I mean they was just big, you know. Sometimes they were small and I just had to hit it hard and break out of it and go get it. You know, obviously Briarwood, uh, it's a good program and a really good team up there, and, and it's a good opportunity for you guys to go and, and you know compare against one of the teams that, that made you know third round a year ago, and a lot of people thought had a chance to win it a season ago. Um, you know, how, how much y'all really looking forward to this game and this opportunity this Friday? It's a big game. It's going to change everything. We win. A lot of people down us, but we should bring it home. And, you know, is that kind of one of the things is, you know, while you've won, and I'm sure that school spirit has now gotten up and a little bit behind you, you know, you still have some people that, you know, are probably doubting you guys and, and thinking, you know, oh, well, they'll, they'll go get beat in the first round. Are y'all kind of using that as motivation and, and a chip on your shoulder? Yeah. We, yeah, we definitely using that as motivation. What do you guys kind of see from Briarwood after watching film that you know you feel like, you know, hey, we may match up pretty well in this area and, and you know, that makes y'all think that you can go and have some success against them? I mean, they ain't pretty fast, but they well coach. You know, they, they get where they need to be. They're going to be in the right spot. They don't make a lot of mistakes. What do you think is going to be the one key um, for you guys on Friday night that, that can help y'all go out and, and have success against them? We're just going to have to make completions. It's going to come down to the T. Yeah. And, you know, I mean, to have this opportunity to go and, and play, I mean, just how special is it for, you know, your group and for this team just to just to be here and to have this? I mean, obviously you want to go win, but just, you know, to go from where you guys were a year ago to this spot, I mean, it has to be kind of surreal for you guys right now. Yeah, I think it's real special. I think a lot of people think we were going to get to. And, I mean, how satisfying. I mean, do you all just feel satisfied? I mean, not, not satisfied in the sense of you don't want to keep winning, but just satisfied in the sense that, you know, hey, we set out to do this, to go make the playoffs this year, and we've, we've been able to accomplish that task. Obviously, you got other goals, but is that, you know, kind of one thing on the list that you feel, you know, pretty satisfied in being able to check off? Yes, sir. Thanks, so. Well, man, thank you for taking the time to sit down with me. Congratulations being named Athlete of the Week. Congratulations on the playoff appearance and being able to play this week. I, I wish you guys nothing but luck, and uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing how it goes for you guys this thank week. You.